right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about PA number five, our support bracket. Uh, so we take a look at our drawing. Uh, this is what we're dealing with. Um, come down here to the bottom and you'll see that we need to use the line tool, the rectangle tool, the dimension tool, and the trim tool. Um, and our question up here is, what is the height of the slot marked A? So we're gonna be paying attention to this. Um, and going from there. Uh, a couple of things to note on this drawing is this center line we have down the middle. So we can do a couple of things. I didn't add the mirror tool on the tools needed for drawing um, because it's not necessarily needed. You could draw this without um, mirroring anything, but I'll show you kind of how you could go about that. I'm gonna show you probably three, about three different ways to do this today. Um, it's a pretty simple drawing but there's some things that get hung up. Now, one other note I wanted to talk about was right here on some of my older packets have a measurement um, and I have deleted that measurement for clarity's sake. Um, I don't know what I meant. Must've been doing this real late at night or something and uh, didn't have the, the math right and it added something and it messed, ended up messing up what your drawing would be. Didn't change what that question would, you know, the answer to this size would be but it was it was giving you some errors across the board so i kind of made things a little easier and i'm going to show you how to go about using this today so i think where i'm going to start with is we're going to draw this uh center line a construction line and then we're going to draw some rectangles uh 3.25 by 1.22 and one that is 0.88 by 3.25 so all of our dimensions are in inches um, I'll go ahead and leave this here if you want to take a screenshot. If you have the packet and you want to uh, update <laughs> your drawing, uh, this is like that. If you have the packet and you want just an updated PDF, go ahead and send me an email. Um, send me a message, mesamakes209 at gmail.com, and I will get you a copy of that packet. So without further ado, let's get back in on shape and let's get started. All right, like always, let's start. We're going to start on the top plane. Start by uh, doing a sketch, holding down Shift and S on your keyboard, N to normalize my view, and P to hide those planes. Um, it looks like right now I have my origin turned off, so let me turn that back on. Um, if you follow me up here, anytime you wanna turn something on, it's a good note, anytime you wanna turn something back on or off, uh, you have an eye, and it will say hide origin, like an eyeball. If I have my eyes closed, they can't see. So if I close my eye, you'll see that the origin is gone but if I turn that eye on it'll be there so first thing I want to do is draw a line um, and actually I'm going to use the new midpoint line feature um, it saves me from having to draw things two separate ways so I'm going to come up here and we're going to click this drop down on line and click midpoint line again they haven't added a, a shortcut key for that but this kind of helps so I'm going to click my midpoint as my origin and I'm gonna go out. But what I don't wanna do is leave this as a solid line. So I'm gonna press the letter Q and you'll see that it'll turn into a dotted line because what we're doing is setting up a construction line. Um, and then we'll just click again. It doesn't matter how big the uh, line is or how tall it is because we are just going to add geometry around that. So let's zoom back out. We'll make that fit by pressing F. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a center point rectangle, letter R on the keyboard. And I need that center point to exist somewhere on that construction line that we made. So I'm gonna click a point and it needs to be 3.25 wide by 1.22 tall. So we're gonna be working on the top part. Uh, I'm gonna move my dimensions out of the way and we'll zoom in a little closer. So again, 3.25 wide, 1.22 tall. I'm gonna do another rectangle, center point rectangle, R. And this time I actually wanna to touch that bottom line. Now, what's nice about this is by doing this, I've just added some constraints without having to go to the constraint bar and, and add stuff in. So I don't know what this measurement is here because that's what we're trying to find, but I do know down here, it needs to be 1.5 across, okay? 
And last but not least, we're going to do one more on this line. We're going to do the same kind of tactic, but this time we're going to say the bottom needs to be 3.25. And if we look, the top needs to be 0.88. So we have this. Now that doesn't look like what we're dealing with. So now we need to add another dimension. So I'm gonna go ahead and press escape to drop that uh, rectangle tool. I'm gonna to press D for dimension. And I know that I need to go from this top point down to this bottom point. It needs to be 2.23 inches. And you'll see once I do that, it shrunk down to where we need it to be. So I know we have a lot of overlapping uh, geometry and, and our, our dimensions are kind of in the way, but we're gonna kind of clean that up right now. So this line, these two lines right here and right here do not need to be there um, because we need them trimmed out. Our final part does not look like that, so we need to make that happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the letter M on the keyboard, M is for trim. I don't know why M for trim, but that's just what it is. Or you can click the scissors up here and we're gonna go through and I can, I can click each individual line, but what's really cool is if I hold it, I get this like trace line right here. And anything that line goes over now gets trimmed. So I'm just gonna trim up those two pieces. Um, and a, a way you can check is if you click your shape your closed polygon, you will see kind of what you're dealing with without those extra lines. Where if I would have done that before, you'll see that I can select three different spots and that's not what we want. I wanna be able to click just once and have that, that solid shape like so, okay? So now we need to do our last part. So if we go, go back to our drawing. We have all of this drawn. Now we just need to make this cut out here. So we know we need it to be 2.432, uh, half inch over and a 70 degree angle. So same thing. We're going to go back into our drawing. Let's click off of that. And what I want to do is a center point rectangle. And I'm going to go here and then down to here. Um, my top needs to be 2.432. And now this is where I would go in and I would select that line because I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to delete these two lines as well. Okay. Could I have just drawn a line? Absolutely. Um, but I like getting you the practice of doing those center point rectangles. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line down. We're going to draw a line down to where they touch. Um, and I think I want to show you guys the equals command. So we're going to say, hey, this line and this line always need to be the same dimension. Okay. Um, we'll come back up here and make sure that stays. That needs to be that 2.432, okay? And it looks like, let's see what's going on here. We should get an equal distance. And you'll see we get 1.216 and 1.216 on each side. I could do that with a midpoint line as well. Um, and I'll show you that in the next iteration of that. So. Now our last thing we need to do is give this dimension 0.5. And you'll see because we made those equal to one another, each one will move accordingly. But we just know that that angle is not quite right. So let's fix that angle from here to here. We need an angle of 70 degrees. And that'll fix our height. I know my students, when they first look at this, they're like, there's no height. You didn't tell me how tall to go. You're right, I didn't. But I did tell you how to get there. Uh, and this is what the purpose of this measurement is, is to show, or this, this exercise is to show you how to kind of get some things without having all the measurements. So last but not least, we'll come in with our trim tool. Let's trim this up and we'll say, okay. 
And now I have my finished corner bracket shape. I could turn it, or support bracket shape, sorry. Um, I can turn this 3D, let's make that a half inch. And you'll see, I now have a piece that I could use as a support bracket. Um, maybe you're gonna put some pieces of metal in here and this is gonna go over some sort of channel or a dovetail or whatever. But that's how you go about doing that drawing. Now, I would click this measurement in order to get that answer for uh, what is the height of the slot marked A. I'm not gonna show you that because I know you guys are using this in class, using this for homework, especially if you're one of my students. Um, I don't wanna just give you the answer, but this is how you draw it. Let's go back, let's delete that extrude. And then I wanna show you another way you could go about doing this. So let's uh, select everything. And let's get rid of that. Let's delete that. I could draw this using just lines. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go out and then down and then over and then down and then over and then down. And you know, I'm not putting any measurements yet. Uh, I'll put one here, 0.5. And then we'll go up here and then over to the center. So roughly what my drawing looks like, but way off in terms of measurements. But something I wanted to show you is when you use this uh, construction line, you actually get a cool feature. Um, if I click the point here and then I click my center line, it's going to tell me 1.59. But if I cross over, it'll give me a uh, diameter. So from end to end, I need that to be 3.25. So if I click here, 3.25, I can give the measurements that are given and only have to draw half of it. So if you guys are doing any kind of speed modeling, this is kind of what will help you. You can draw half the drawing and then go from there. So then I drew down 1.22. This needs to be, um, we'll delete that, dimension from here to here. Or sorry, from here to here, and then crossover needs to be 1.2 or 1.5, 1.25, and we don't know that measurement yet. This needs to be 0.88, and this overall needs to be 2.23. Dimension here, 70. Dimension here of 2.432. And one thing I forgot to do was make this coincide with one another. I did that by pressing the letter I. I'm going to come in here, mirror, select my center line as my mirror line, select everything flip over and you get the same shape. So a couple of different ways you could draw this. Um, some people, I know I've had students do, scroll down here. I've had people do one big uh, rectangle and then they add the stuff as they go. So we do 3.25 wide by 2.23. I've had them do something like this. And then they just added one slot uh, somewhere in the middle and then added a rectangle like so and said 1.25. Come in and trim that up. And then we'll do the midpoint line, 2.432, down, down, make both sides equal by pressing E, dimension, 0.5 to 
dimension 70 and come in and trim out what we don't need. Last but not least, this needs to be 0.88 and this is 1.25. And now we're on the same page, but what I need to do, same thing, trim up those pieces there. It, identical, if I click one, you'll see I got an area of 6.435. Click the other one, 6.402. So, There's the problem, 1.5, 6.435, and 6.435. So it's good to double check. I know when I'm moving quick, I kind of stumble on some of the keys sometimes. Um, but that's what this practice packet is about. Okay, so a bunch of different ways you can draw it. You could tell that um, that last way isn't my favorite way to draw it. That's why I messed that up. But I'm more of a going from a center point and working out. I don't like always having that big bounding box. It kind of messes me up. So that's going to do it for us today. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Um, and if you can come up with a different way to draw what I did, let me know. Show off and, and tell me that I'm doing it wrong and there's an easier way to do this. So see you guys next week. Take care.